So we are going to talk about line tonight. Uh, it's one of the, the visual elements that we've been working our way through in this class. Shape, form, texture, space, value, um, color, and now we're going to get to line. Uh, Alexa Alexander Calder did some amazing work with line. Um, also famous for it was Jean Moreau. So it's a certain kind of painting that historically has used line, um, you know, abstract um, you know, spatially charged, but we also have painters like Egon Schiele who used line in um, to actually outline the form that they were going to paint, and it's a it's a really expressive way to make your paintings just have more um, more heart in them. I love this this um, cityscape of his. Mark Chagall did the same thing, um, and of course, probably my most famous uh, pers people who used line was Picasso. Um, it also can be used, line can be used to break up a form, um, and he actually got to the point that that was all he was kind of interested in at the end was, was what can I do with line in my painting. Um, another person we don't think of as using line, but he did, is, is um, Van Gogh. If you look at his paint application, he's really just applying the paint with line after line after line. So it's another way you can use line. Um, Basquiat obviously um, used line as kind of the heart of his work and it kind of conveyed this kind of frenetic energy. Um, Carol Dunham, who's Lena Dunham's father, um, uses line to make it almost like his paintings cartoonish and, and um, or you can use line to be very graphic like Jean de Swan. I think that's how you say his name. Um, you can use line like Elizabeth Payton to just um, create more form. You actually make form using line. Um, Julie Mater, who is a huge painter, these are massive canvases, um, she uses line to create this like insane sense of space and, um, and really play and twist with our head, like twist with our eyes about what we're looking at. Um, and it's made her a huge painter. Um, Bryce Martin just uses line as a way to explore color and, and um, has been doing that for 50 years. Laura Owens, who's a huge new painter, she, us she uses line a lot as one of the many elements of her painting. So it might be flat painting with some line involved, um, outlining some stuff, using it for text or graphics. So she really plays with line and uses it in um, many, many different ways. Um, I love her work. Uh, Mama Anderson, who's a very young contemporary Swedish, despite her name, which I always thought she was an old woman, um, uses line in, in all, almost all of her work in this really beautiful um, graphic way, which might be something, so I can see some of you playing with, with line in that way. Uh, Elizabeth McIntosh does these beautiful, um, she might outline her paintings with line or use, like how she uses in this teapot painting, line to direct your eye around the canvas. Uh, it's a very, it reminds me a lot of Picasso, a lot of her stuff, um, and Matisse. So she's kind of an, a young, new painter using line in some kind of old, traditional, really um, beautiful ways. I hope, I hope this inspires some of you to play with line today and see how you can insert it in what you're doing. Um, and then the German contemporary painter, um, Charlene von Hale, uses line kind of exclusively as her, as what she's playing with. Um, and again, these beautiful, beautiful artworks. So I hope you all are inspired to insert more line in what you're doing tonight and play around with it a lot because it's, it can really make your work more expressive and graphic. See you tonight.